Bloomberg, Cuomo, and Diaz are at it again, proposing to give $130 million of our money, your money, to Fresh Direct, a private corporation, which already got tens of millions of dollars to set up shop in Long Island City. So that's why we've launched a boycott of Fresh Direct, so everyone in the city stops utilizing their services. We want them to stay out of the South Bronx, expand in Long Island City if that's what they want to do, but without our taxpayer money. We shouldn't subsidize a failing corporation that pays their workers $8 an hour, breaks up unions, and calls immigration authorities uh, to, when they start organizing. We have other plans for the 100 acres of our waterfront. We want mixed use, affordable housing, small scale commercial development, green job incubators, and of course, just like most of the rest of the city, we want public, green, open space, and water access. So join the boycott of FreshDirect.com. They're using again public monies and subsidies uh, to give it to the people who need it the least. And they're doing it without consulting with the community. They're promising jobs, 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 which is a very trite and, and irrelevant argument because these people get these monies and get these subsidies and they don't, they really don't bring jobs uh, to the city. We need uh, sustainable jobs. Uh, I, I think that if people in the community in the South Bronx knew uh, that they are getting a few jobs in exchange to a huge raise in asthma rates and pollution and so on, they'll be disgusted and revolted by this. I think it's also important, not only doing it uh, on our behalf, but on people that are like the, the usual customers of Fresh Direct, that they're mainly here because they don't deliver in the South Bronx, um, that they're moving right next to a waste transfer station. So that's very important. It's a, it's a place that I, I live in, my in that neighborhood. I love that neighborhood, but during the summer, uh, the place stinks like hell because it's, it, the, the waste transfer station is super toxic and, and it's right there. So it's important for the customers of Fresh Direct to know that their food is going to be housed and stored right next to this waste dump. So that's why we're here and not in, in our community where we have distributed flyers and informed the people about it. Uh, but it's also important to reach out to other people that might be empathic towards the situation. So my son's school is going to be six blocks from the proposed site of Fresh Direct wants to build a new warehouse with $130 million taxpayers' money. Now 2,000 trucks will be going through that area. In, in an area that has already a very high asthma rate, the highest asthma rate in the country. Now, you can, or you can frame it in from a more um, wider perspective where you see that, you know, it's the highest, you know, we, have, we live in an age of a high, a high income inequality. But the difference to the Gilded Age, to the 1890s, is that, tech, that corporations actually get taxpayer money and they don't pay taxes. Now this is a ridiculous 99 year lease. When I heard that, I was reminded of the 1872 mining law that still allows mining companies in the West to, to use public land as their own, their own disposal. Now this is, a, this is a site that has historic value. You know, indigenous burial site, colonial history. And it's, it could be developed into a sustainable um, site with, like my comrade said, with um, affordable housing, you know, parks, water access, you know, a better quality of life for people in the South Bronx. This, more jobs in this case, with this deal, does not translate in a better quality of life. Like it on Facebook. Yeah, we, we're here today, we're releasing the boycott of Fresh Direct, you know, because what they're trying to do, to, not only to the community of the Bronx, but they're doing all over the city. They're taking our money in terms of in the form of subsidies and grants from IDA and EDC um, or EDA, and we just want, we want them to be more socially responsible. They're trying to bring 2,000 daily trucks to our neighborhood, where we already have high asthma rates, and we have some of the worst air quality in the country. We want more than just garbage, they're promising us jobs but they only promised uh, 300 jobs over 10 years for the entire Bronx. That's not enough. 
And they're also only paying their workers eight dollars an hour. The stand up in the freezers work uh, they're at 38 degree temperature, which are eight eight and ten hours a day. They are union busting, they're saying they don't give us jobs. We want at least living wage, which is paying ten dollars, eleven fifty with benefits or without benefits. But they're giving them an exemption on living wages. We want more than that. So that's why we're here today spreading the word, trying to let people here in Manhattan know so also what we're doing and why we're fighting fresh and red, why we're boycotting them and, and what they're doing to our community. How do you think this is going to affect the community gardens that's trying to spot up in the neighborhood? Well, that's the reason why we want, we don't want fresh wreck there, we want the waste transfer station gone because we want access to our waterfront, we, want, we need more green space, we need more trees, we need something to combat our high levels of asthma in our community and poor air quality. We got expressways circling our communities. We need green space. We have a shortage of it. We probably have one fifth the green space in, per person in the Bronx as normal as, as, as the rest of New York, New York City residents. So we, we need more green space, and that's what they can use that space for. We don't have the Bronx connector, which is giving us access to, to uh, Randall's Island. All that's also affiliated with this plan. That's why we protest. Yes, yeah, so I came out to the, the Boycott Fresh Direct rally today because I teach in the South Bronx, and uh, I guess they have, it's the highest uh, rate of asthma for children in the South Bronx. Um, I think it's five times the national average. So to have the company move in there and have, uh, I think it's like over 2,000 trucks moving in and out of the neighborhood every day with diesel fumes, it's not going to be good for the health of the children. So that's the main concern that I have. Um, you know, you can go online, sign the petition, um, boycott Fresh Direct is the main thing. Esto es immoral. Empezando, empezando por no darles trabajo a la gente del sector, que hay un alto desempleo, especialmente de la gente en edad laboral. Después, eh, hay mucha gente enferma de asma debido a toda la polución que ha habido siempre en las fábricas del Bronx y traer más polución es una condena de muerte para todos estos discapacitados que, que ya están tratándose y, y muriendo de las consecuencias de la polución. ¿Cómo es que si van a poner una planta en nuestro territorio no seamos servidos por los servicios que ellos ofrecen a otras comunidades? No tiene sentido. ¿Qué afecta a la familia de los chicos del Bronx? Y, y bueno, tienen una explotación, tienen uh, fondos públicos para pa su empresa privada y, 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 y bueno, toda la basura que va a traer todo eso y toda la polución y, y bueno, es que se están aprovechando del vecindario nomás, que están buenos para pa, pa que le tiren la basura nomás, pero no para darle trabajo y no para darle servicio en su área. Y, y, y bueno, parte de, la, parte de la misma cosa como hace Walmart, que entra y, y, y todos los negocios que han estado ya por 20, 30 años en el lugar, no pueden consentir. Y bueno, eso, eso no lo queremos. Los vecindarios tienen que mantenerse como vecindarios y no, no como un fightón de, de, de un corporate feudalism. We're here boycotting the Fresh Direct in the Upper uh, West Side. Basically, why we chose this neighborhood, even though our issue mostly affects South Bronx residents like like us here, is because people here are one of the biggest clients of them, but they usually don't know what what they are supporting. First of all, it, it's a it's a deal done with 130 million dollars of our taxpayer money going to support this private company which is not even gonna uh, offer uh, or guarantee local jobs for the South Bronx residents they're not even gonna deliver to us all to cross by up up our the, the traffic of I don't know how many diesel trucks uh, the number is 2,000 by their own estimates 2,000 trucks and you imagine that going through a residential area basically because the area next to that waterfront is it's it's been residential for quite a while now so 
obviously all done on the back of South Bronx residents because for so long now, why? Like the Bronx has been the iconic website of dump, why? You know, even though the Bronx hasn't been burning for 30 years now, we came out of the rubble for 30 years ourselves, not for PR campaigns, not for, for, for uh, fancy condos, but because the people did it and still, we, you know, the, the subsidies that, that the government subsidies that are given to private places so the people there can just keep on uh, smelling the stink of, 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 of carbon and not even get a chance to ever develop their waterfront. So those are the basics and the New York Times, the Village Boys have covered it but obviously meekly and we have to, you know, rise uh, not only consciousness but I'm sure people here that are not affected in the same way we are, once they know they won't want to support such like crappy deals, backroom deals, which haven't even been consulted with not the community at all. The, when the environmental uh, analysis of the area was done before residential, uh, uh, that was developed into residential units, the area next to it. In terms of asthma rates, the Bronx already has the highest asthma rate of the, of the city. Uh, you know, this affects, this is well documented and, it, and you can just, it's common sense to know what will 2,000 tr diesel trucks of traffic daily, how will that affect? That's just common sense. I don't really know the numbers by heart, but it's just common sense. And that's on top of the fact that th there's a waste management plan there, there's four other waste management plans, which eventually, this is just a stepping stone for residents of the South Bronx to say, you know what, it's not only fresh, the right. we want our water from, we want, we want access to it. And we don't wanna be the, you know, the waste management uh, side of, of, the, of the rest of New York City. I'm Fresh Direct today and I'm here to promote the boycott because 20% of the children in my neighborhood have asthma and asthma is directly linked to diesel truck fuel. I also feel that these jobs are not good enough. They start between eight and eight dollars and fifty cents per hour and I think we can do better and nobody in Manhattan would ever build a facility like this on their waterfront. We're boycotting Fresh Direct today because they're uh, propose that they're, they're moving to the South Bronx, so they're trying to move to the South Bronx um, and take up about 100 acres of waterfront uh, property and spend $130 million of taxpayers' money. Um, and they pollute the area, and it's already very uh, asthma, air, it's an asthma ridden area. So, um, yeah, the, the best thing I think is, is just helping spread the word.